you've just bought some cannabis from a store in Newfoundland and Labrador. Here's the lowdown from the RCMP about how to get this home safely and legally. You can have a maximum of 30 grams of dried cannabis on you, either in public or in a vehicle. No person is allowed to consume cannabis within a vehicle, whether it's the driver or any other occupant. If the container is sealed, you can keep it anywhere in your car. But if that seal is broken, or if it's cannabis that you've grown at home, it has to be out of reach. Unsealed cannabis cannot be stored anywhere in the vehicle that is accessible to a driver or any other occupant in the vehicle, such as the glove box. A suggested place to store your unsealed cannabis would be here in the back of the trunk. But the rules are different if you're paying for transportation. If somebody is paying for a fare, such as a taxi or a bus, they can carry their cannabis, whether it's sealed or unsealed, on their person. Canada's lower risk cannabis use guidelines suggest not getting behind the wheel for at least six hours after consuming cannabis. Give yourself a lot of time to make sure that that has uh, left your system and is no longer impairing your ability to operate a motor vehicle safely. And if you break the rules, here's what to expect next. If we pull somebody over and they perform the standardized field sobriety tests at roadside and are found to be impaired, they will be arrested and brought back to the detachment for further testing through a drug recognition evaluation. If they subsequently fail that testing procedure, they will be charged with impaired operation by a drug and they'll receive a driver's license suspension, vehicle impoundment, and a follow-up with a court date.